In today's video, I'm going to take your contact form from this to this. No coding, no expensive apps or seven day trials. This is 100% free. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get an app. I've looked through a few different options and I chose this one because it's highly rated, it's easy to use, and unlike a lot of the other apps out there, you aren't limited to using it during a trial period. All right, so let's get our app. Click on apps, customize your store, type in contact form, and then this one right here is the one that we want. Go ahead and click on it. Then click add app, install app. From the left hand side you can see several pre-made templates that you can start with and edit as you please. There's a contact form, order form, registration form, and more. For this example we are going to be changing our contact form so let's go ahead and click on that. Anything you see here can be changed or deleted. You can do this one of two ways. You can either hover over whatever it is you want to change and then click the settings icon or you can click the forms tab and edit it from there. Either way works. You can see that every field also has the option here to be set as required if you want. Next, we are going to add some additional fields to our form. With the free version of this app, you can add up to six. So go ahead and click add element. Any options with the stars are only available on the paid plan, but I think that the free options that are available will be sufficient for most people. To add a field, all you have to do is click on it. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and add the phone number field and then I'm going to move it up below the email field. When you're finished, click done. Next, I want to add in a website field, so I selected the URL option, and then I edited the title, click done, and moved it up. I can add one more, so for this one, I'm going to choose multiple choice, and I'm going to ask which way the customer would like us to contact them, by phone or by email. That completes the form, but now we're going to move on to the design. So go ahead and click the design tab. The first thing I'm going to do is adjust the width of the contact form. You can see it's quite narrow and it does keep that width even when you publish it. So to change that, I'm going to click on size and width and drag it up to 100%. They also allow you to choose fun animations for your contact form when it loads on the page. So you can select that here. Moving on to the color scheme and fonts for our form, they have eight different pre-made design templates to choose from. All of these are great options, but if you see something that you'd like to tweak, you can have more control by expanding these options here. When you're happy with your form, it is time to add it to your page. They have the option to publish it directly to any page you like, or you can choose to manually add it to any part of your theme. If you're adding it to a page, all you need to do is create a page. You can name yours Contact Us. I was testing out a few different things, which is why I named mine as this, but the name doesn't matter so much. The only thing that does is that you have to leave this as default template. Once that's done, you can click Publish, and then select your page from the dropdown and it will automatically add your form for you. If you want to go the code route and you are using Dawn, you would just add a section and then click Custom Liquid and paste the code. Overall, this is a great app, very user-friendly and easy to use. I've included a link to it in our description box if you want to check it out. If this video helped you, do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up or you can let me know by leaving a comment down below. And make sure to subscribe for more videos like this.